Hello, all you model car building friends of mine. This is Model Cars with Glenn, and I'm Glenn. So, where am I? I'm at home. Okay, I'm going to do this from home. Move these and show you my brother's picture, which is cool. It's a nice picture. I can get it in frame. How about that? He always does these out of the out of this world things. I like them. Pretty cool picture. All right. Next up is let me see. Oh, I got these guys. Let me turn this. Uh, okay, I want to start. I want to start with a tip. Corvette. <laughs> got to get the rear wheel wells hogged out so the tires will fit up in there, right? And not like that. So, I'm going to just knock this interior and chassis out of it. Lay it over there. Here's the deal. What to do to get those tires. First, I got to put in my chewing dentures. And then I take and uh, start. Nah, I'm not going to do that. I got this. I got this sandpaper. This is one of the back tires that goes on it. I got this. This is 80 grit because I don't want to be here all day doing this. And I'm just going to put it on there and gently, you don't want to smash the tire down, gently rub it out like this. And keep doing that. See the, see the sand down here? I mean, the plastic. Now, you got to remember one thing. When a tire hits the ground, it's wanting to go like that. So while you're in here doing this, you got to remember that it's going to try, it's going to try to run off on you. So you got to keep an eye on that. Don't let it run off on you. And see, the, the thickness of the sandpaper is going to give you the clearance you need. I want these to be a little more round, so I'm going to keep doing this until they get round. I'm not going to keep doing it right now because that would take up like 20 minutes. But you can see how it's already starting to hog out a little bit. Yeah, that'd be cool. And you got to move it back. I need to work it a little bit here. Also, also, and this is very important, is to keep putting this guy back in here. Come on, get in there. Stupid car. Okay, because you got to make sure right here. You got to make sure. Let me put the flashlight on to say you got to make sure one more time. You got to make sure you don't go past the edge of your interior dealy here and here. Because then you're in trouble. See, it's not showing yet. But if I keep going the way I'm going, it's going to. So, got to get farther up in here with it. Let me see. See, it's already it's already going to fit. And if I wanted to... Oh, get it down here. See, it's already going to fit. I just threw one of the tires on the floor. I got it. It's back. See, it'll already fit. But it's a weird looking wheel well. So... You know, I'm just going to take it up a little higher, get rid of this lip, and that'll probably do it. Make sure it rounds out, because right now it's got this big chunk over here. But that's how I do it, with the sandpaper around the wheel. Okay, that's the Corvair. I think you all got that. You ain't stupid. Not like me. Next, Lark. And it's up on wheels. Can you believe that? I actually got Le Chasse is up under there. But... This is the chassis. Remember, I was using that 65 Chevy Nova gasser to, for the thing. But look at the front. Let me lower this down. Look at the front wheels. Or raise it down. <laughs> look at the front wheels up under there. It looks like it's standing up on its tippy toes. Also, with them sticking in this far, it makes it look like, like a ballerina or something. Let me get it up here closer. It looks like a ballerina tent standing up on its tippy toes. That is not a good picture right there. And like I keep saying, I'm not trying to build a perfect model or trying to win any contests. I'm just trying to draw a picture of a really nice looking car. And if I was doing that on paper, I would not have the wheels this far up in there. Standing on its tippy toes. Also, look how big it makes this front end look around here. Makes it look like a big old box sitting on there too big for the front end so i got this axle this come off a of polar lights funny car 
and I got all the parts to go along with it. It's wider. It's a bit wider than the axle from the Deuce kit, the Nova kit. So I'm going to take this Nova axle out from under here and springs and everything. Probably save it for that little Fiat that I'm making into a hot rod. So next time you see it, it'll have this front end under it, and it'll look a lot better, I guarantee. Okay, let me see. Where am I now? Oh, still in home shop card. Shout out! Frizzo. My man Frizzo, he's got the cards. He's got two of them. How about that, huh? And thank you, Frizzo, for the kind words written upside down on the back for some reason. Uh, Frank's Model Cars at gmail.com. You can get you a shop card, too, if you email at gmail him that. Look at that, man. It's got This is a nice diorama, by the way. It's got the car lift, car up under it, engine stand, little... Little feller working on it there. And he's even got one of his pictures up on the wall. I just noticed that. That's cool. And FMC. I used to work at FMC. It's a, it's a factory that's just about 10 miles from here. I used to read blueprints and draw patterns off of the blueprints. But that's not the same FMC. This one is Frizzo's Model Cars. You need to go visit him. Give him a sub, a like, a lot of love, and a comment. And it's Frizzo model cars right there. Go check him out. He's cool. He is a good dude. Frizzo. All right, now what am I going to do? Something else? Okay. Oh, I got G. No, it's not a gasser. Nope, it's not. It's not a gasser. This is an AFX altered wheelbase funny car. This is what they drove before funny cars. This is what evolved into a funny car. I probably believe probably said that before. Sometimes my tongue gets over my eye teeth and I can't see what I'm saying. But this is like a, what is this, 64? I think it's a 64 Impala. And I moved the rear wheel wells forward. And the front wheels are just moved forward. The fenders are still there. And how many cars are named bad news out there, really? I mean, how, I've got probably five or six named that. Anyway... This is cool, man. I like one of my things. I like getting rid of those inner fender wells and having the headers sticking out there to where they're all up, all out in the open. I got the the headlights are covered up. A couple of Chevy license plates on there for some reason. And let's see up under it. Yep, got the frame. Had to shorten it right in this area here. Took a chunk out of it there and shortened it up and added some plastic to the back here. And straight front axle. I don't know what, I don't know what the heck those uh, ladder bars. I made them out of something. I don't know what, or I don't know how. I don't remember. This one's, this one's been around a while. But the front radius rods are actually wheelie bars from, uh, I think one of the kit, one of the Pro Street kits had these wheelie bars, or uh, yeah, wheelie bars. And I just kind <laughs> of cut the wheels off of them and turned them around and used some extra parts to bracket them up. Anyway, that's what those are. And the motor, there is spark plug wires on it. He's got spark plug wires and you, cool headers. I like the way the headers are springing out there. Got spark plug wires, uh, blower belt. I ain't put no fuel lines on it because I just did not feel like it yet. I'm old. You got to give me some slack, man. I require a bit of slack. Hey, pull me. Oh, sorry. Wally. Wally needed up. He's, he's too short to jump up, so I have to help him. So this is my, I'm thinking 64 Impala. It's got an opening trunk, but there's nothing back there. So look at, don't look at it. Oh, interior. Yeah, got a cool interior. What you can see, I always put a fire bottle in there because I like it with the instructions on it how to use the fire bottle point it at the fire and pull the trigger and there's uh steering and got a little tack in the dashboard nhra record holder on top of the dash it's more decals on the back light i like that kind of thing okay next pro street time i don't look too close at the paint on this when i painted it it was shiny as anything but now 
it kind of dulled down with age. I don't know why. I don't. I really don't. Like like the chrome faded away from those rear rear wheels on that side. On the back, I used stock wheels with the little uh, hubcaps. Make them nice and deep. Cause that looks cool. But I don't know why I didn't use the same thing on the front. I got the Kragers on the front, or something like Kragers. Got the big old wheel tubs and a gas tank in the back, cause you don't want it in the inside with you. And I got some seats in there. And there's a fire bottle. There's a tank in there somewhere. I will guarantee you. Drive shaft? Hell no. Dang it! I'm gonna have to start going over these things, making sure they got it. Is that a drive shaft? No, that's just a reflection. Anyway, street though, so it's got it's got uh, no mufflers, just straight pipes running out the side. Cause we we don't we ain't worried about you know upsetting nobody's feelings. But this is this is what is this sixty eight sixty nine uh, El Camino. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Love the stance on this thing. I like the pipes coming out the side there too. That's neat. And the motor sticking up through the hood. Did I show the motor? I don't think I did. There's the motor. It ha <laughs> This one's got air. How about that, huh? It's got AC on it. Yeah, no plug wires and no fuel lines because... Guess why? Because I'm old. I used to put in all those details, but you know, sometimes you just you just don't see them. And so it's wasted time. I mean, you would see the fuel lines going through the carburetors right there. But I might go back and do that later. Next. Now, this one, on the other hand, has got all that. It's got all that stuff. The I got the chute on there with the shroud lines coming down, the push bar, and a release handle for the chute. Got the plug wires, got the... Got all the, hang, let me get it around here. Got all of the fuel lines coming out of the gas tank, going to the fuel pump, going up to the front of the injector up there, and then the two. You see those two lines? They're really bent nice, man. There they are. They're going into the fuel injector there. Yeah, got that. That's pretty cool. Inside, got handbrake. No foot brake, just a handbrake. Really needed to put some uh, belts in there. Uh, the guy ain't worried about falling out. He's got a pretty strong grip. And it got the gauges and switches, steering wheel. No fire bottle. Oh, that's what it's missing. I got to put a fire bottle in it. But this is one that would have run in the early 60s at the drag strip. It's an altered. Uh, Austin Coyle used to build motors for John Force. Said, if you want it, told NHRA, if you want to put butts in the seats, put some altereds on the program. Nope, they didn't listen to him. There's no altereds. But they should have listened to him because altereds are the coolest cars. Right up there with gassers and AFX funny cars. Let's see if underneath. Nope, no drive shaft, that gummit. But one of these days, one of these days, Pow, right in the drive shaft. Got the quarter elliptic springs. Yeah. Anyway, got the, got the steel wheels on the back and the lightweight wheels up on the front cuz you know, he wants to go fast. He doesn't want to he don't want to hang around at the fin at the starting line. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This is cool. I like this guy. This is one of my better ones. Uh little little altered Runs on nitro or alcohol or just promises. Who knows? This one actually runs on glue because it's a model. All right. So that's enough of that. Um, let me see. Where am I at? That's about it, really. I got these guys. And I got this guy. Feel fit. Yep. Race day. From Altered to Pro Street to an early Funny Car AFX. And I want to say, give me a like, a comment, and, and especially a comment, and subscribe. I'm almost to the point where I'll be doing the giveaway, so look forward to that. 
and I'm going to go now. So we'll talk to you later. Bye. Sit, homeboy. Sit. Good boy. <laughs>